this is a fascinating speaker. It's really unlike anything I've ever experienced from Sonos before. First of all, just the way that it looks um, is it's it's, it's kind of like somebody took a uh, an oval, you know, three dimensional oval speaker and put a belt in the middle of it and cinched it up. It's kind of got this hourglass kind of shape to it. And what's interesting is the the it sort of sits on its side. So when you're facing it, you see this oval view. Uh, you look down and you see the hourglass. The front of it is a speaker grill. And then the back half of the hourglass part is also a speaker grill. And this thing's got a ton of different speakers inside it because as a single speaker, it is built to do like multi-channel sound. It will play Dolby Atmos music. Uh, and it's, it's fascinating. I, you know, when I started using this, I, the, the, you know, the first thing I played was an Atmos version of um, uh, Tom Petty's Free Fallen, which starts with that kind of chimey acoustic guitar. And it sounded like that was coming from behind the speaker. It was like, oh, wait, this is really interesting. And then when the band kicked in, that was in front of the speaker. And this thing's tiny. It sounds way bigger than it is. Five free, you know, standing five feet away from it. It sounds very deep, like the depth of where the sound is coming from sounds much farther away than the speaker where I know the speaker to be and can see with my eyes 10 feet away from it. It sounds like there are two speakers 10 feet apart, right? The way that it, it sort of sends sound out to the side and you can set the height of it. Um, at, out of the box, the low end of this speaker wasn't huge. It was, it was kind of tame and almost lacking a little, Sonos has this thing called True Play, where you tune the speaker to your room with the oh. era that with with the initial version of True Play, which is what exists on most of their speakers. Uh, you use your iPhone and walk around the room like waving your phone up and down like it's some kind like of a, divine. Look like a crazy person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Like it's like I'm looking for water, you know, or whatever <laughs> yeah. with my phone up and down for for 60 seconds. It's a fascinating exercise, but it's. And, and during that time, the speaker's like sending all sorts of sounds out, right? You know, and, and your phone's picking them up and it knows that it's moving around because your iPhone has a gyroscope in it. And so it tunes the speaker to your room and that works great. It's, it's amazing. You can do that with the Era 300, but you can also let the speaker tune itself to the room. So I thought, well, let me just do that because it like the HomePod, you know, it has microphones in it for Sonos Voice and, and the A-Lady and all that stuff. So I let it tune itself to the room. It uh, it did that. And then suddenly the low end was exactly where I wanted it to be. It was great. Um, so a, a really interesting speaker. And, and like I said, it, it does have voice control. It can be used as your rear speakers if you have like a Sonos Arc or something for in your living room. But by itself, it is not a speaker that can be used easily with your TV. You could probably route things around and force it to be, but it's certainly not meant to be used that way. Uh, but as I have, I don't, I only have one of them, so I can't try it as rear speakers, but um, I, it would be cool to, to, to use it as rears and see how far away it makes like the, the, the rear sound. So yeah. I might, I might have to grab another one. Yeah. But it's, it's really interesting. It's, you know, where they've got speakers sort of all around this thing. Uh it's 450 bucks for, I, I have the price right on that. 449. Yep. In the U S and, uh, and you can order it now. My question. That's awesome. What's that? Yeah. You pre-answered yeah. my question. That's awesome. Cause yeah, I was out in the yard about three days ago with the move and I was like, and oh, that yeah. was, you know, six or eight feet away from me. And I'm like, that is an amazing speaker. The low yeah. end on that is awesome. But this sounds yeah. like it's even more, more technologically advanced. And it, it is, I, but you wouldn't, I mean, you could use it outside i don't think they would say that it's waterproof I, i'm I'm pretty yeah. sure they haven't uh yeah. although it might be they say it's humidity resistant which is important yeah. um the where's the move you can drop it can rain on it and all that stuff I mean, right well and the move is also a, a battery powered speaker this is not this needs okay. to be plugged in so it's it's a little different where i would where i would use this is in like a bedroom or a an office or some you know some or in your kitchen right where you're going to be listening to music a lot 
and you want to have put one speaker in and have it sort of fill the room. That's where this is, is key to me is that it could go in the living room. If you using something different to watch TV, you know, and you want this as your, you know, music listening kind of, you know, in the study, the family room, that, that sort of thing. Um, it's, it's really, it's a, I'm impressed with this thing. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 I didn't know what to think about it. And, and then I pressed play and I was like, Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So yeah. Yet again, Sonos kind of impresses me, which I, I, I yeah. didn't know. I didn't know that they could do. So yeah. Sounds like it's uh, taking the, the Bose wave technology and, and crushing it on top. Well, not, not taking their technology, but improving upon what they were doing. Yes. And, yes. And making, making it more, more better. <laughs> yeah. 